Heifer Show on the new talk, 1067. Yeah, you good looking little heifer. Come on over here and shake a howdy. Oh, goody, it's not working again. All right, let me try it again. Now, you saw me push the button, and I hit the button, and it is playing, but it's not on the, on the air. So I'm going to turn it off, and I'll try it again. And it's not playing. That's great. Try if I got a program. Try it uh, All right. It's not working. Well, now I've got it in program. Got everything on. I've got News Boss 3. That's not working. Nothing. Whoa, whoa. No, that was you, right? Yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake. You know, this is unfreaking believable. Let me go find Jay. We haven't even started yet, and I can't play anything on my computer screen. God, I'm sorry. You know what? Screw it. Run a, run a freaking best job. I'm going to take the freaking day off. This is bull crap. You've got to be kidding me. You know, this freaking way. This to just. I, well, that's right. Is it Throw the it. box or is it the? Computer? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I'm. I, I, the mic's working, and but I and nothing. Nothing on the computer works. That mean we have to re, rejunk it or whatever. Probably. Yeah. How about I put a couple of bullets in it? I should have brought my 50 caliber today. God, sorry, folks. Yeah, we're not going to have a show today because there's no... I mean, the mic works, so I'll just... I'll read the encyclopedia for about two hours. What do you think? That'd be fun. Oh, Jesus. I mean, come on, man. This is crap. All right, well, hangman to the rescue. I don't know what the hell it is. All right, well, go this way so I can use my mic over here. Hey, now. Oh, crap. Hey. <laughs> Freaking break. Ooh, la, la. All right. It just, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, nothing works. It's not playing anything. It's playing? It's playing, but it's not going on the air. Gotcha. So now, is that a bad thing over you with you? Have you got a button down or something? Did, 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 did uh, you didn't do anything on the board when you were on the board, right? Well, I don't use your thing. No, because uh, it's on, it's news. So it's working three, theoretically? Dimmer, yeah. Mine plays. Yeah. Well, okay. all right, well, we don't care. We don't want to have anything special today. I hope the hell we don't get any uh, Newsmaker Line songs or anything. You know, to ever play back Newsmaker Lines, won't be able to do that today. <clears throat> well, here's what's going on. <laughs> I swear to God. If any other radio stations are listening, we'll be looking for a job here by the end of, you know, we'll be blowing out of here before it's fall. So we are looking for work. Now, theory, I can't, I can't, or, I can't uh, negotiate. Oh, good time. Theoretically, I cannot negotiate because I'm under contract. But, you know, clearly they, you know, we're, we, we have no, this is bull, this is just nonsense. So we're looking for work. We're looking. If anybody had a radio station, you can afford to. Then I'm coming as a team. It's me and and uh, and Pete Davis and Flounder. Hey, Hangman, hey, sorry, but Christian. you got you got like nine jobs over here. They can't what about get rid Christian? of you. Christian, oh, I will take Christian. What about Gossip? <laughs> oh, Gossip. I mean, yeah. I, I, What's up? Yeah, yeah, I mean, just throwing me under the no, bus. No, the yeah. three. No, no, the three. <laughs> and none of the three team who came here originally are me, Pete, and Gossip. Yeah, that's true. So that that's our team. And if you're a radio station looking for a, oh an afternoon show, morning show, we'll do overnight. She's pouting. We're taking Christian. Okay. I've been with you from no. the beginning. I'll pal. put you in my car right now she for that matter. Hangman, hey, don't feel bad. You have nine <laughs> jobs around this freaking company. I'm not taking what the hell, man. <laughs> the three of us came and the three of us are leaving. All right, here's what's going on today. Uh, everything sucks. Uh, the company sucks. The machinery sucks. Oh, no, that's not what's going on today. That's what's going on every day. Here's what's going on today. All right. Uh, my phone offer of help. <laughs> this is perfect. Uh, little Miss Christian showed me how I am still dumber than a seven-year-old, and she grew up in knowing exactly how things work, even though nobody ever had to tell her. I, 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 we're figuring out my phone. Now, that's still black. What the hell's going on? Resetting. Well, it's never taken this long. I want to ever. Go black. I mean, it, it, it's, it's never done this. It's never coming back. Going to the rack. Oh, Christ. I, I mean, okay. Uh, oh, oh, the uh, phony redskin bashing Christians and Catholic Church violence. Uh, that, uh, by the way, he's a phony redskin. That, that Phillips guy is a phony freak, phony patriot, phony everything. I guess he may have been in the Marines, but he sure as hell wasn't a, quote, recon ranger, which is no such thing. And he sure as hell was not in Vietnam. And he claimed he was in Vietnam and then got caught. And now he's saying, uh, Vietnam era. Who, who says Vietnam era unless you want people to think you were in Vietnam? Yeah. You wouldn't use the word er Vietnam era if you didn't want people to think you were in Vietnam. Otherwise, you said, yeah, I was in the Marines in the 70s. He should have, if you said that, he'd be fine. But he's a freaking lying scumbag and giving engines a bad name. Freaking redskin liar fake. Ooh, the Minnesota Democratic freshman Ilian Omar, the uh, throat-slitting, bloodthirsty Muslim, uh, uh, had some tweets about the uh, kids in Covington, Kentucky, and she had to take those down. Savannah Guthrie, she's the drinker, right? 
Isn't yeah, she the drinker? Yeah, uh, 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 a horrible interview on the kid who was uh, no, still black. It's running in there. There it comes. It's been doing. No, it's not. That's just that's the. Oh, there, there it is. See? There. No, you have to hit. I'm not hitting Control Alt no, no, Delete. No, no, no. I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, nobody's had to do that for 20 years. Have you? Do you ever have to hit Control Alt Delete on your computer when you go home? No. So why do we have to do it in here? What is this? 1949 equipment or something? Oh, no! Jeez, a Mary Gumga. <laughs> Uh, the black UGA teaching assistant married a white girl. I guess she's in danger because he says white people should yeah. die to make up for the uh, racist thing. Yeah. God, I hope she doesn't fall asleep before he does. How about 4K a day? Four, oh, let's do, let's do 4K a day. This will save day everything. On the new talk, <laughs> Yay! Hey, text the national keyword now. The word is now, N-O-W, and text it to 95819. That's 95819, now, N-O-W. We'll text back, confirm your entry data messaging rates may apply. Don't text and drive. It's 4K day from the people who don't give a crap about anything. Yay. Ugh. Oh, hey, hi. Oh, you got it? It's working. Hangman. Oh, he, the hangman pulled it out again. Pardon me? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. what I meant was. <laughs> he fixed it. The man fixed it. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Hangman. Thank you. All right, we'll thank take you, you with thank us. You. Thank all, right, you. all right, now it's going to be a team thank of four you. plus, uh, uh, plus Christian. Thank Thanks. Thanks. You know, it's just there's really nothing better than being able to start your day at work when this stuff goes on. You know, it just keeps us kind of humble. It sure does. It sure does. What else you got here? Three hundred one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna calm down for a second. Honestly, you know, I, I just <laughs> oh, it's Nyan Yang, Urm Ram, or whatever the hell they are. <laughs> Nyan Yang, Yang Ram, Ring Nom, Im Nam, Nook Mom. God, why did I think of that? You know what Nook Mom is? Oh, Nook Mom is fish soup stew. Vietnamese, and you will gag if you ever smell it. If there's a Vietnamese restaurant anywhere within listening distance and you want to go to one, ask them to, to let you smell Nook Mom. <laughs> I think it's made from fish heads and feet. Uh, DeKalb County. Oh, oh DeKalb County is doing such a nice thing. DeKalb County is going to remind us about how we used to lynch black people. Yeah, they're going to put up a tribute sign to help us remember all the lynchings in DeKalb County uh, from, like, 1850. God, that's so nice of you to remind us about white people lynching black people. It'll be a, like a plaque and everything so we all can see it all the time. Hey, thanks, DeKalb County. That should make everything better. So that means no more bitching from the, the black people or what? I mean, is it okay now? It's, it's all over. So it's all over? Oh, thank God. So we can keep the cyclorama, we can keep, uh, you know, Stone Mountain. Yeah. Oh, thank God. DeKalb County saving Stone Mountain. How about that? Wow. Avocado toast. You know, that's the drug cartel murderers win, you know. that. Lefties at UGA said Chick-fil-A is a white supremacist cult. I swear to God, they're actually saying Chick-fil-A is a white supremacist cult. Hey, where are the candy hearts? Those little, little teeny little candy hearts of different colors and stuff, say Be Mine or My Love or stuff like that. They were made by the Neko Company, which sold... Oh, hold on. There's a newspaper line. Thank God. Oh, sorry. And by the way, just in, Nancy Pelosi has the nerve, absolute nerve, to say Donald Trump is not invited to give a State of the Union address in the House chamber. She says you are not invited. You are not allowed to use the House chamber. Oh, really? I say we take about five Marines with the president and go barging through the stinking doors. Try to stop us. God, I'm so upset about this. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 303, hold on, there's the uh, newsbreaker line. Uh, let's see who's on the old newsbreaker line. Uh, good afternoon. Hmm, Timur, me, Nathan Phillips. <laughs> hey, Savoni Redskin. Hey, Nathan, how's it going? <laughs> hey, we need some heap big dental work. <laughs> heap big dental work? Me have so many missing teeth. Me named honorary citizen of Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> right. not, not good in the old choppers there. We noticed yeah. that. <laughs> You'll notice I grunt a lot. You are a grunter. Yeah, I like, I'm like Larry Munson. Huh. <laughs> He's falling from sky. Huh. We need more time. <laughs> Me do impressions. <laughs> you do impressions. That's great. Hey, you know difference between me, Nathan Phillips, and Jane Fonda? No, what's the difference, sir? Huh. Me never go to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Me, hey, big liar. Big liar, fake. Me, Nathan Phillips, should have kept me mouth shut about phony military records. <laughs> yes. 
turns out me go AWOL three times. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> One more desertion, me be invited to White House by Bathhouse Barry like Bo Bergdahl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, yes, sir. me cut shell saving apply for Purple Heart like John Kerry. Hmm. <laughs> A little fishy something there, Marine, yeah. <laughs> me, me throw medals away and uh, <laughs> hang on the tr- trinkets exchange for the Isle of Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> me doing better, me go to psychoanalyst in Atlanta, Spirit. Mm. Oh, Spirit, the <laughs> freak, <laughs> seance chick, Spirit, the psychoanalyst, you go there? She's plenty good. Spirit say, huh, Nathan, blame your dereliction duty on Donald Trump, even though me deserve blindfold and cigarette. It's all <laughs> Trump's fault, you know, it's a huh, blindfold and cigarette like they gave to Mr. Pelosi before wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that woman? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't with yours. No. Peace pipe go limp. Nathan had no idea what that means, but uh, <laughs> no. spirit to therapists have a great jingle, you know. Oh, great jingle at the spirit therapy girl there. Mm, spirit therapy and associates when you want to waste an hour. <laughs> waste an hour? I don't think that's it, sir. Next to her, you'll feel half normal. <laughs> It's like talking to yourself. <laughs> and no one makes a return appointment. <laughs> Spirit therapy and dissociation. <laughs> I am the leader in cancellation. <laughs> sort of lost my place. Want to announce that me appearing at Punchline next week. So oh, you're, you're doing me. a stand-up routine or something? Or Wow, that's yeah, great. Yeah, me have plenty good opening joke. Get oh, can, you, laugh can, every time. can you give us like an example maybe or something? You know. Huh, take my land, please. <laughs> <laughs> great to be on the show. <laughs> Thanks there, funny Redskin. We really appreciate hey, it. Is Pete Davis in the control room? Pete Davis is right here. Hey, Pete. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Me and you meet up at Manuel's Tavern for Firewater. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Phony Redskin. He's Fate got a new Chief. name. A new name? Yeah. Chief. A chief never been an arm. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, and by the way, <coughs> God, I'm so sorry. Hold on, I'll be right with you. <coughs> I'm going to kill my mic. I'm gonna... Freaking unbelievable. All right. 308, 308. <coughs> God. Uh, by the way, you know that I uh, I believe if uh, if there are former lives, if we have all been born and, and uh, lived in past lives, I believe I was a Lakota Sioux Indian. OK, I have always felt an affinity when I went through. I was driving through the Dakotas many years ago and I, and I couldn't I had to, I stopped and I started buying all kinds of Indian artifacts, real ones or stuff. Anyway, I've always had an affinity for Indians. And I've always said a million times on this program that, if, that it amazes me that there is no way to help. Apparently, uh, the American Indian population were still, you know, poor, uneducated, living on reservations and dirt, filth, poor stuff. And it really hasn't changed in uh, hundreds of years, at which I find appalling uh, the, the, you know, talk about discrimination against people, you know, blacks, uh, Asians, whatever, Jewish people. The Indians got the worst of it all. Anyway, so I'm a total Indian supporter. I do anything I can to help the Indian culture and the Indian people. But this freaking scumbag phony is a, is a disgrace. He's a disgrace to Indians and he disgrace, it's a disgrace to Marines. A phony, freaking phony valor scumbag who pretended he was in Vietnam for years and it turns out that's not true. Well, go to hell. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I, oh, man, anyway. <clears throat> so don't, you know, don't, so don't come after me for, be, for bashing this redskin. I'm bashing him. I'm not bashing the Indians or their culture or their Native American history or anything else. But this scuzz bag uh, deserves everything piece of crap that he gets. He's a deserter as far as I'm concerned and a creep and a freaking phony and a fake. 309. Coming up, leave it to the kids. Helping the Kimmer's new iPhone. <sighs> Newsbreaker lines. Nancy Pelosi tells Donald Trump he cannot use the House. Oh, really? I swear to God, I, I'll go up there right now with him 
and we'll just we'll go right in the doors. Just oh yeah, stop it! I her. dare you! It's not her. It's not her house. It's my house and your house and his house and her house. It's not Nancy Pelosi's house. Who the hell does she think she is? Telling the president, no, no, you're not invited till the, you open up the government. You ought to go punch her in the nose. Well, that'd be a little harsh, but that's what I'd like to see him do. Honestly, I, I, I swear to God, I'd give my entire life savings right now. I swear to God, right now, if Donald Trump goes out of the house floor and punches her in the nose. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> 310, 310. Hold on, I got your calls. I'm going to try to think. Uh, have an express loop traffic and Matt Door. Friends, this is the Reverend <laughs> Ernest Angel. Angel, and this portion of our show is brought to you by yeah. Highway to Heaven. Highway to Heaven. What would you call the service road to Grady Hospital? <laughs> and now, I command Mark Aram to come. Ayot! And now, here's your host, the killer. All righty. Hey, the music works. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Hangman. I'm sorry you can't come with us, man. It's it just, you know... It's just, uh, well, you can if you can get all the, I don't have nine jobs available for you at the new station where we go to, hopefully. Sometime, maybe. After they get rid of us here by just, you know, I, you know what's going to happen? We're going to come in here one day, though, even the lights won't come on. We won't have any lights, we won't have any electricity, and we'll have to, like, use uh, two orange juice cans on a string to communicate with the newsroom people, and, and then they'll say, well, it's your fault, Peters, and you're fired. Right. So I think, I'll bet, you know, write that down, and I predicted how they'll do this with the orange cans and the string and no lights or anything today. <laughs> 315. Hey, hello. Uh, this was the day in 1989. James Brown was sentenced here in Georgia to another six years in prison after a police chase through two states. He was at the time already serving a sentence in South Carolina. Remember that? He fired shots at the, at the, at the cops who tried to chase him. And he got six years. He's lucky he didn't get killed. I mean, I mean really? Oh, my God. All right, hold on, hold on. 316, it's only me, it's only the Kimmer. On uh, the new talk, 1067, here's our number. 404-741-1067. 404-741-1067. Let's begin the actual program. All right, uh, we'll start at the top. Lines are nuts. Here's Gary on the new talk, 1067. Hello, Gary. Hey, Kimmer, what's going on? I don't know what's on. I don't know. Me having a heap big problem with less newsmaker line. Oh, uh, why? Got a lot of serious uh, Apache, Chiricahua tribe, uh, Indian in me. And you know what? Oh, so you were a fake then? You were a liar about Vietnam, I'm guessing, or what? No? Oh, well, then it doesn't apply to you, Gary. We're not talking about Indians. We're talking about this one stinking scuzz bag. No. Yes. No, no. Yeah, cut him off. I'm done with that. Just, you know, I don't need lectures. <sighs> you know, I mean, really. <laughs> Christ. Uh, here's Ed on the New Talk 1067. Hello, Ed. You're on the radio. How's it going, boss? Uh, it's going pretty freaking bad right now, actually. I'm oh, sorry, Ed. I'm sorry, Ed. Having a little bit of an issue today on the camera show. Yeah, I mean. What's that? My opinion, it's like, I get, look. What? All you, I give all Republicans, all Democrats, I give y'all all the, I, I, I take everything y'all say with a grain of salt, both sides. Yeah. Now, see, now I'll tell you this. Bye. In my opinion, personally, the way it is, is yeah. in both situations, it's like this. Yeah. Y'all sit back and say, y'all, oh, for Native American individuals, y'all want them to be able to have this, that, and the third. But it's the man standing out there in so-called picket. I mean, hit me. Huh? Wait a minute. He What's was that? being ignorant in yeah. that sense. He was being ignorant. The, the Indian was being ignorant, or the boy? Yeah, he was. The Indian. Yeah. yeah. The okay. Indian, yeah, because hit me because it yeah. was a child. Right? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. But the thing about, because I was a child. Yeah. Other than that, every uh, what I'm saying is, yeah. It, the, the, you want to sit back and call him racist, but the thing about it is, there's a difference between racism and prejudice, and we all need to understand that. See, the thing about it is, racism is when power meets prejudice. No, it's not racism. Racism yes, is a belief of one race being superior no, genetically right. to that's another. That's if you're talking about prejudice. bigotry, that's fine, but you're not talking about racism if you define it that way. Racism is a belief that one. A race of people is genetically inferior and superior or superior to another. Bigotry is and, and prejudice are whole different things. But this is what I'm saying. This is. This, this uh, is I thought I'm that's saying. what you were saying. There's policy. You know, y'all have, there's what? Policy. What? There's actual policy. Uh, what the policy? What are you talking about? All, hear me. The actual Who's policy? policy? What policy? An American policy. The, wait, where, where, where do I find that? Is that on what page nine, or where the hell is the American policy, Ed? What are you talking about? The, home, the homestead. Am the I missing something? Hold on, hold on a minute. Am I, am, am I getting anything out of this? Or he not? keeps I, saying he's going to say something. I didn't say it. 
What do the you want to say, Ed? Act, the what? Homestead Act. What about it's it? What took, that's what took the land away from the Native Americans. It was the white man who stole the land fair and square. We slaughtered those Indians fair and square, stole yeah, their land fair and square, and we got it. We're not giving it back. And as far as I'm concerned, I'd give it all back. I'll give it all back right now. I'll take the Cherokee Indians. They can have my house. hear me what I'm saying. I heard you before. What? It's not a policy. They did it. It was called the Homestead Act. It took the so what? What's that got to do with this guy? What the hell are you talking about Homestead Act? So what, what I'm saying is through policy it was racism, not through just a policy. Everything was racism, oh, man. Everything in the world was freaking oh. racism. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Now, this freaking thing fell down. You know, this is, get him out of here. Yeah. Jesus, Mary, and freaking Joseph. Right. You know what? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Crying, my God. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? No, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Christ. Take a break. I, so I know, really. I just, I, I honestly, I, I don't. I mean, I don't understand how hard this is. The man is a freaking phony. He's a troublemaker. I guess he was a deserter or a wall or something or other. He faked his, uh, his duty, he pretended he was a Vietnam veteran, and it's a damn lie. And as far as I'm concerned, if he were here right now, I'd punch him in the face. I tell you, you're a freaking phony. You disgrace the Indians of America. You disgrace the United States Marine Corps, and I'm coming after you. How about that? This is crap. I'm not, we're not taking this crap anymore. We're not taking these deliberate sleaze bags who are trying to demean our country, attacking little white Christian boys from Kentucky. Oh, yeah, they're so privileged. Yeah, little teenagers in Kentucky are so privileged we need to attack them. You freaking scumbags. We're not taking it anymore. God, three freaking 20. And your person, your little hangman person? <laughs> I don't know what kind of problems he has. <laughs> he is impaired. His speech is slurred. I His agree. words are not I clear. agree. <laughs> There's a happy couple. Have an express. <laughs> Have an express. Little traffic mat door. <clears throat> well, let me get to every Wednesday Susan here on the New Talk 106.7. Hi, every Wednesday Susan. How's it going? Hey, uh, sweetness fell. I think you need to bring it a couple times. <laughs> that 20 hey, minutes is probably the most yeah, violent yeah. 20 minutes maybe I've spent here. <laughs> follow, follow with maybe some deep breaths in through, in through the nose and then out through the mouth. <laughs> That's a good you're idea. Be, you're going to be okay. Okay. Um, I just wanted to talk about how nobody in the media is um, covering, the, is it the black Hebrew yeah. Israel, Israelites? Black, black the Hebrew that Israelites. That they were saying to those kids, yep. it was homophobic. Whoa, it was whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. What the hell was that? All right, sorry. We had a, a it machine. Was, it, it, it was homophobic, it was racist, it was vile, it was profane. And instead of that American Indian confronting the 16-year-old, why didn't he confront them if he was an actual hero? Or Not only that. You know what also ends here every Wednesday, Susan? Think about this. If that had been a white Christian who had been calling names to those kids like that, those racist, homophobic, uh, slanderous, vicious names, my God, they would have been not only doxxed, they would have had protesters in front of their house all night long. I mean, but but because they're too, because it was violent-looking black guys, everybody's a freaking afraid to take them on. Why the hell didn't people go up and punch them in the face? Honest to God, didn't even say a word about it. Where's all these, you know, uh, leftist social justice warrior groups like yeah, the ACLU? They, they, nope. they just, it's, just, it's just amazing to me, and it's, just, it's really sad. It's honestly. awful. It it's awful. Sad. Thank you, everyone. Right. Wednesday, Susan. Have a good day. I appreciate okay. it very much. No, honestly, it's just, it, it's, it's appalling. Where, if that had been anybody else but tough looking right. black guys, they'd have been all over them. But nobody has said, I haven't heard one critical comment. I have not read one critical comment. I have not had one, any network newscaster or CNN or MSNBC or any of the network newscasters doing anything about the story of those people, who they are, why the hell they think they had the right to go do that to those children in Washington during a life march day. And nobody's even talked about them. And they were the ones who started it. They started it. And no one, no network news guy has done anything about them. Because they don't want to. They, they're afraid they don't want to, and it would look bad that they're taking on the black people, and then, oh, I guess I'm racist if I criticize a black man. Unfre- uh, just cowardice. By the way, uh, Kevin has picked a bad day, it seems, to get a friend of his to start listening to the show. <laughs> He's a long-time listener all the way back to the 90s and uh, told my friend about your show. She promised to listen today. If you get a chance, please say a nice word to new Kimber babe, Patsy. Patsy, the new Kimber babe. I love you, baby. If Welcome aboard. <laughs> Patsy's curled up in a fetal position right now. <laughs>
Because <laughs> she's afraid something bad's going to happen. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention why I was playing a Pointer Sisters. I, honestly, I, I'm fine, but I'm I'm so just ticked. I mean, you know, I, you, coming in, the start we had there is, you know, it's just adding to it. So I apologize. I'll try to do better. But frankly, uh, I'm just I'm just freaking out here. I'm just totally freaking out. And I mean it, too, about, you know, if anybody's got a job, we can't talk about job offers until, you know, late, until, like, uh, uh, September. They can I think we get 60 you. days. They can approach you. Well, no, they, but I, I can say, well, yeah, I'll be available, but I can't yeah. negotiate with you. Yeah, so, you know, just for the record. Because the <laughs> 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 make it easier for everybody. Cripe. Oh, crap. Anyway, Anita Pointer of the Sisters is 71 today. That's what I mentioned. All right, look out. <sighs> what, now, what's this refresh? We got another refresh? Yeah. What do we got? New music. A song? Not, not yet, not yet, but I've been... Oh, I've okay. been I've been updating stuff on my page, and when it updates there, you it, put it over to mine. It, it, I got it. So. Is he sending in a song? Do we know? Uh, I just checked. It's not. It's not. We uh, may have. A, we may have a new song. Advertise. Coming in right now. <laughs> stand by. Stand by. Is it in? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> That's just wrong. Oh, God. I, you know, I'm not getting anything. I haven't done anything. No. Uh, I, just, I don't care. Crime any. Uh, hold on. Let me look here. Oh, jeez. Indian, 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 Indian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's Jake, the new listener on the bottom there, Pete. Oh, hey, Jake, how do you like the show as a new listener? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just want you to calm down. I want you to be around so I can keep listening. No, I'm going to explode on here. In fact, I'll guarantee you right now, if they haven't fired me or whatever, we get a job at another radio station that actually cares about us and when you know take care of us like we actually count for anything, I swear to God, I'm going to keep going until I ex- ex- explode on the radio. That's my goal is well, to show. die during the show, like laughing at a newsmaker line. Well, if you just change your name to uh, Bailey or South, I don't care about you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you you get a lot of information for a new listener. You you, you got it patented out. Hey, thanks, uh, Jake. I appreciate it, man. All right, hold on. Three thirty one. God. Uh, quickly to here's Patrick on six, and we got all we got a bunch of calls here. We'll get to a newsbreak line here in a second. Patrick, welcome, Surrey on the radio. How you doing? Hey, Cameron. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, you guys are right down the date. Man, you guys got to archive this. When Kemmer gets fired up, uh, it is it is definitely worth uh, keeping up for the um, for the best of. <laughs> yeah, best of. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad day to start listening to Kemmer. This is exactly the camera that we love. Well, so, uh, thank you, Patrick. You're, you're you're very kind. I appreciate it. Three thirty-two. There's a newsbreaker line. Hold everything. Cause he was on the old newsbreaker line. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> talk to me or I'll get nauseous. This is, this is, this is Woody Allen Woody, calling. Yeah. Right? How are you, Woody? How's it going? Yeah, I wish you'd just calm down a little bit. You know, I don't, you know me, my, my idea of violence is like a really loud sports coach. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> loud sports coach. I'm starting to, to feel good about myself after, you know, 80 plus years. Oh, you're feeling good about yourself, really? Oh, yeah, I had a great session with my my new counselor, Spirit the Therapist. <laughs> she shows up on Shelly's yeah. show a lot. Yeah, Spirit the Therapist. Yeah, yeah. How'd that go? She's the lady, she's the lady who puts psycho in psychotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit told me, she said, Woody, you should stop, you should stop blaming your parents for all your problems yeah. and, and, and put the whole thing off on Donald Trump. There you, know? you go. That's her the main there theme. <laughs> Some therapy. Spirit, the therapist, you can Dr. Phil called her a quack. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go to say, hey, Woody, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Next, you're going to call Dr. Laura and tell her to ask your, your, your boy not to burn your house down. <laughs> How's that working out for you? That was my Some therapist. Dr. Phil impression. I'm working on it. You know, it's a good one, sir. It, it's, it's obvious that, you know, that Shelley's friend, spirit, that yeah. therapist is well-educated, Kim. Oh, well-educated, it's obvious. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know they offered the degrees in psychology at the University of Phoenix. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <you know? laughs> the first time I called spirit, she said she could see me right away. Boy, there's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> no waiting. <laughs> Apparently, her appointment book is as empty as the as the punchline on a Friday night. You know, is there anybody out there? Yeah, yeah, they are, Jamie. We're just not laughing, okay? You just can't hear us. <laughs> no, that's the problem. They can't hear us. You know? uh, uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> Talk about a completely different psychotherapy situation. Really? Uh, 
spirit had me sit in the chair and, and, and she laid on the couch. It was, it was really <laughs> kind of reminded me of the old Almond Joy commercial of a few years ago. The Almond Joy uh, commercial? Sometimes she feels like a nut, sometimes she don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Robin the Joy bit. and Mount. She was John Travolta was nominated for worst actor in the Razzies for his for his portrayal of John Gotti in that, that god awful movie. Did you see that? Oh yeah, <laughs> it wasn't believable. I mean, everybody knows if when John Travolta wants somebody whacked, he does it himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Razzie, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. That's a cart there. <laughs> Great to be on Thanks, on the show, Woody, yeah. so much. It's an honor to have you aboard. The Woodman, right here. Uh, the... <laughs> I've been called that before. You know? <laughs> yeah, by your daughters. <laughs> Yuck, we're just waiting. We can wait for you to hang up. <laughs> well, I didn't have anything else. I was just trying not to be, make a big noise by hanging up on you. Oh, God, know, we I love guess, it. No, it's probably do whatever I you want. I, could, you know, I guess I could plug my new movie, Close Encounters of the Third Grade, if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Great to be on Woody show. Allen. Thanks, Woody. 336. Oh, no, I got your cause. Eddie and Bumper and Cajun and Trucker coming up here with a camera on the new talk. 106 freaking 7.